Oni Lake solo trip. Just me, man. No one else out here. There's so many blueberries. I've actually decided to leave my vitamin C uh, fruit cups. And they're just everywhere in the truck because those things weigh so much. It's like Woodland Caribou Solo. Wow. That was not necessarily the way I wanted to start my solo trip. Racing a line of fast approaching thunderstorms. But I made it. Boats tied up. Upside down. I think we're ready to rock and roll. i got to set my tent now in a minute. Yes. Camp set up. Nice. Thunder's still rolling. But I'm going to try for a tarp. I mean, it's totally possible that that one missed me. Yes. First things first, though. In case I really get hammered. I'm going to move that canoe to the other side of that tree. The key to being safe solo, lots of attention to details like this. That canoe is tied to that far tree over there, but the wind can still whip it around and blow it into the water. I'm going to move it on the other side of this little tree. <laughs> Here I sit. It's not totally the way I wanted to start my uh, solo trip, to be honest. Um, huddled in my mid in a thunderstorm. Chance of strong thunderstorms today, apparently. That's the last I heard. I, I had a message from Hun, but it was downloading as the rain started, so... I'll download that one later. Interesting. That's the best way to describe it. Yeah. Interesting emotions. Um, basically, this whole week, I doubted that I would even be here. I honestly did. I doubted I'd be here even for five minutes, never mind five, ten days, however long I last. I feel pretty good. I actually do. I'm a little nervous. I mean, I do have a thunderstorm right above my head right now, and I'm all alone. It's still raining. Yeah. Not too bad for tea storms right now, but definitely still raining. So I'm gonna cook up some supper here. I just saw two Two canoers, poor bastards, out in this weather. Thunder going off, going for the island beside me here. I'll tell you, we got dead air now. Tea storms are done. Sun is coming back. It is hot and humid though again very humid good morning on my favorite rock having breakfast on oni real breakfast oatmeal yum yum beautiful day uh cloudy which is what i suspected today i mean there's a 90 percent chance of rain today so hoping uh hoping for to go fishing for a little while have a coffee, read my book. Today's all about just relaxing, getting into the backcountry feel of being alone. And uh, tomorrow I'll push on and go to a new lake. Well, that's familiar. More rain. <laughs> what a start to my trip. Solo part of it. Rain most of the day yesterday, and actually you haven't had a lot of rain today. But it's definitely started up now again. See the sky's gotten pretty dark. Pressure's rising, so I think the weather has to be improving, but not yet. So here I sit with my book. At least I'm dry. Five o'clock, Monday morning. Ready to head out? Not quite, I need to pack up. It's dark, but by the time I'm ready to go, it's gonna be 
Snatch you later, obviously. Beautiful Monday morning, starting down Douglas Creek from Oney Lake to Douglas Lake. Exiting Oney, down Douglas Creek. I'll tell you, for an August trip, it has been a June trip. We've had more rain and tea storms and this is my eighth day in the park. We've had two and a half nice days. Everything else has been tolerable, but other than two mornings, I've packed up wet every single morning. Good morning. Monday morning. Ooh, what is it? Oh, 7.30 already. Been paddling for about an hour and a half. I think I'm probably about six, seven days from camp already, so obviously I'm a good solo paddler. I've gotten lucky with the weather. Uh, there's no wind. I'm with the current on Douglas Creek, so there's that. Hey, I can paddle with the current down a creek. Look at me. I'll admit, I was a little bit disenchanted with the rain this morning. I can see the clouds lightening a little bit. Lightening, not lightning. Um, it's a beautiful morning. The fog's rising. I'm shooting off the water. Ducks are out, beavers are out. I really got nothing to complain about except for this 30 meter portage that's coming up. So, I will talk to you later. Fairly bony section of Douglas Creek. sure if I can paddle the whole thing or not. I'll do my best. Yeah, let's see. Much of my canoe is left at the end of it. some rocks in here. Douglas Lake looks very calm, which is fantastic. This is not a little lake. This makes me very, very happy. It's Douglas to Hatchet. Now, I remembered this thing being pretty steep, and apparently I was bang on. <laughs> steep, and thanks to this morning's rain, very, very slick. And thanks to me docking at the campsite instead of the portage start, I added about 50 meters to it so hey it's all in a day's work but yeah as you can see coming up here not something to screw around with with all these slick mossy rocks and everything else gotta be very very careful especially when solo post on hatchet right after the portage in from Douglas probably all part of Viking Lodge I would assume calm here as well. Take advantage, keep paddling. Hatchet is always good to me.
and Peterson Lake. Absolute pleasure. Best portage trail of the whole trip. No doubt about it. It's amazing. 325 meters. I can honestly tell you it felt like 100. Wow, it was just very gently graded through the trees and it just happens to be that I'm going downhill. Lovely Peterson Lake. Very nice. Portage between Peterson and Paige. Yogi. Good through. Looks just as nice as the one from Hatchet to Peterson. Oi! 200 meters up. So, much less distance than that one was. Which is always nice. This one looks to be almost exclusively uphill. And that one was downhill. Makes Peterson a bit of a pot lake, actually. Yogi! Yeah, it's almost lunchtime. But the amazing part is, six hours after leaving Oni, I'm in the lake that I didn't even think I'd make it to today. So, that is pretty spectacular. And here's my first look at Page Lake. We're on the lovely looking Page Lake. The weather's sure looking nice here. So I am paddling, hopefully to camp, but just coming home for the next day or so. Looks like it could be a real beauty. Campsite on Page Lake. I mean, it's a beauty of a spot. To be honest, I can't figure out why it's not more used. But uh, it's definitely gonna need some cleaning up. It hasn't been used for a while. It's okay, I need firewood, so I'll get all these trees out of the way. And then, uh, that's probably my tent site. A little bit of clearing, we'll be good to go. Perfect. Bed of moss. Ah, oh, look at these views. Pretty hard to beat that. The calm beauty that is Page Lake. On a beautiful, lazy summer day. Listen to the sound of nothing. That is solo tripping. Tough life on Page Lake. I cannot think of a better place to be right now than in my hammock. First time in a hammock on the trip, actually. Well, here I am on uh, Page Lake. Beautiful lake, beautiful lake. Um, yeah, you can see, absolutely gorgeous lake, gorgeous night. It's probably around 6.30 now at night. I got up at 4.30 this morning, by six I was gone. <clears throat> six hours later I was here. A lot quicker than I expected to be honest. And one of my better days out here. Um, I'd actually say the best day. Um, I think today is my eighth day out here in Woodland Caribou, and today was the best one. Um, it started out pretty shitty, I'm not going to lie to you. Clouds, rain, 
wind. Ugh, I was not a happy camper when I was paddling down Douglas Creek, as you can probably hear on some of my other video. But by the time I uh, was done hatchet and portaging into Peterson, the clouds were thinning. By the time I was done Peterson and getting into Page, things were looking up. Page definitely has been nice to me, while the, all the lakes were nice to me today. No wind where I didn't need wind, current where I needed current, and wind in the right direction uh, when I did get it. So, very, very good day. I'm back to reading. Many hours spent reading. <laughs> I've done more reading in the last few days than I've probably done in the last few years, to be perfectly honest with you. But that's why I'm out here. I fished. I caught a bunch of big, big northerns. No walleye. I'm not sure there is walleye on... Uh, this lake I forgot to check before I left. I'm going to Crystal tomorrow. I think Crystal might have walleye. There's a lot of campsites there, so there's only one campsite here, pretty rustic. I cleaned it all up. Got tons of firewood ready to go. I'm gonna light the fire in about 20 minutes or so. Spend a couple hours just chilling by the fire and then I'm gonna go to bed on a very soft, mossy bed. I'm really missing hunting the kids. The dogs in that order um, but feeling good feeling really good to be honest with you um, it's quite the thing being all out here all alone it's just you there is nothing else I've had two planes a helicopter and a float plane fly over me but that's it today I mean it's it's been me and the bugs and the loons and the beavers I saw four a family of four uh, muskrats which is pretty pretty cute this morning but uh, that's it. That's it. Pretty, pretty quiet. I'd say lonely. But it's lonely is, is, is the wrong word. I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. Listen to that bird. See, I, I got birds keeping me company. I got flies keeping me company. I, I'm not alone. Yeah, I'm alone. I'm talking to flies. Later. Nice morning, Tuesday morning, Page Lake. Windy from the, I don't even know, southwest maybe. But very warm already at seven o'clock in the morning. Slept really well, as I knew I would on my bed of moss. <clears throat> you can see I cleaned it out pretty nice compared to my video from earlier. <laughs> Didn't take too much, the mid just fit. Nice bed of moss. There's a lot of blow down in here though. I mean, look at this place. It's a bit of a mess. Hasn't been stayed at in a few years for sure. So, yeah. Moving on to Crystal Lake, which is not a big day at all. Probably be there by coffee time, I would think. Out of the wind on Page Lake, headed for the portage. Hot morning, Tuesday morning. Beautiful lake. I really like this lake a lot. Lots of blowdown. It's ready to burn, but she's nice right now. Oh, she's in there somewhere. <laughs> the, the trick is to find it. I think I see it over there. The first to get through. Noish, noish, noish. Little puzzle for the morning. Yeah, this is where things always get a little bit interesting. Creeks, portage is starting from creeks. I ate my oatmeal this morning. Here is hmm, Bell Lake, I think. Actually, it's a nice little portage when you can find it. The streams choked up earlier, so interestingly enough, the official portage trail is different on the map too. So everybody's a little bit confused. Nice enough. Nothing wrong with the trail once you find it. But like I said, the trail's been changed so yeah very nice morning beautiful day yo burp come on through wait starting the little creek out of uh well it's towards bell it's between page and bell 
gorgeous little area actually. Not very many people want to paddle through here because I see lots of opportunities to build cool little camps here and I don't see any camps. It's good to know though that you can make a bush camp here. Those can be very useful in certain situations. Portages and woodland caribou. They're usually clear once you find them. Finding them can be interesting. Look for a blaze or a clearing. A lot easier than the last one. Portage trails are very well maintained in WCPP. Every once in a while you get a stubborn tree. That's definitely going to impact my carry. So I am going to chop this sucker down with my Gransfer's Brook mini hatchet. It's small, but it's up to the task. Told you. Problem solved. Gransfer's mini hatchet. No problem. Probably a little four incher, six inch. Out of the way. Free carry now. Nice. Moving the carry between Bell and Crystal. Pretty nice little carry. I think it's 175. Not even sure. It's a little marshier than I expected, but no biggie. Mr. Canoe Head. It's a little portage, but it has everything, including a nice rocky landing point. Whew. Ah. And roots. Just gotta be careful on these. There we go. Nice. Crystal Lake. Windy but beautiful. Another one. Crystal Lake. Pretty nice day. Um, the paddle was good. It was definitely uh, windier than the other day uh, by quite a long shot, actually, um, in the sense that I was against the wind instead of with it. The paddle was short, like I expected. The portages were a little more, especially the first one was a little mankier than I expected, but Still got here in about three hours, and I've been hanging around camp ever since. It's about 3.30 now. One thing I'm realizing with solo trips, when it's... Actually, there's a lot of conditions that strand you at camp. And I love reading. I mean, you know, I, I've been doing a lot of reading, meditating, journaling, and that's all great. Um, but I don't need 14 or 16 days of that. Um... I like moving, and today, as sunny and nice as it is, I'm completely windbound right now. The 40, 50 kilometer an hour wind just howling through, and it's just not a lot you can do with that. You can fight it, but there's really no point. Um, I was hoping to do a bunch of fishing here. That was kind of my plan. So now I'm hoping to do that either tonight or tomorrow morning when I head back to Upper Hatchet. I'm loving it out here. I mean, even paddling against the wind this morning on a cool little channel out of Bell Lake. I was I was having a good time. Um, 
I really was, and I still am. Um, like I said, I just, I'm not made for sitting around. I, I got to get out and actually do stuff. And I've been sitting around for probably about six hours now on this little island. And definitely some storm clouds building now, but I'm actually hoping that if anything moves through, it's just going to calm down the winds a little bit and I can go fishing after supper and find out if there's any walleye in here. Um. Ah, finally the winds died down. It's around quarter to eight now on Tuesday in Crystal Lake. Beautiful, beautiful lake. Would have been nice to get out and go fish it. I might actually go for a little bit yet tonight, otherwise tomorrow's a pretty long day, so. Well, it's an early one today. Don't think it's quite six o'clock yet. The sun's obviously just starting to come up on Crystal Lake. Humidity is way up, and I mean way up. There is some indication that we'll get some rain today, but I packed up everything dry, which is nice. We'll see what happens. Good sleep, good camp. Yeah. Off into the wild once again. Beautiful still morning on Bell Lake. Heading out on glass. Favorite type of paddling. Heading out of Bell Lake. En route back to Page. If you remember the video from yesterday, this looked quite a bit different. Bucking a pretty strong wind. <laughs> glass today. Sound of absolute silence, stillness. It's huge out here. This is the start of the old portage trail right here. Can't get through that mess. So now it sneaks through on that side and an extra, I don't know, 50 meters or so. And the funny part is on my map, the real trail is that way and it's substantially longer than either of the trails. So I'll be fixing this one on Paddle Planner. And this is a little bit of fun. <laughs> back in the minor suck that is the creek to page lake now it's gonna be easier than yesterday because I'm with the current today you'd be surprised how much difference that makes from upper hatchet to hatchet it says 450 felt like 500 to me pretty nice portage actually bit of everything as you'd expect in half a K through Canadian Shield up through birch bark and pine forests into some bog later on Beautiful out here. Very, very nice. A 
ironically, most people are scared probably of the portages more than anything else because they're running into bears or moose or whatever. I just saw two moose on the other end of this thing. But uh, I don't know, I guess my experience in the Rockies right, has kind of taught me. Bears aren't really the ones to be afraid of out here. Even if I did run into one. Um, it's weather, weather, weather. Yep. It's all about conditions. Cut it through. In general, bears want no part of you. And I'm honestly not nervous walking through the bush on my own. That's kind of the least of my worries on this trip, to be honest with you. Which is good. Yeah, it feels nice to walk through the forest without being scared of it all the time. Hatchet Lake. Oh, it's been a good morning already. I don't know if you can see me. It's <laughs> pretty bright out here. But uh, this lake was a lot of work. That's why I'm eating. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, baby. Mr. Noodle. Thanks to my kids. Oh my god. This stuff's nasty. It's 400 calories though, man. I need it after that paddle. That was... This canoe is absolutely amazing. Kevlar Epoxy Carbon Tech Quitico 16 foot um, from Suris River. It's amazing in a lot of ways. It is not amazing in wind solo. <laughs> uh, if you're with the wind, it's amazing. But if you're trying to go sideways or even into it, it just, it's too light. It blows around. You know, a 35-pound boat is just not heavy enough to track well in a lake. It tracks well in a calm lake, so not complaining. I'm going pretty far today. It's only around 11 o'clock. Um, I left at 6, so that's 5 hours of pretty hard travel already. Um, I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 portages, including a 350 and a 450 and a few smaller ones. And then we've got a 450 and a 200 left to get to telescope. Got to go down Embryo Lake, thankfully with the wind most of the way. Otherwise I'd be a little, little more nervous about that one, but I think it's going to be good. And Hun actually tells me that the uh, wind is supposed to die down. So that's another reason to have lunch and just enjoy. Upper Hatchet, campsite that we've stayed at before. 2016, we stayed here. Going the other direction. Got a nice lake trout here then too. But uh, yeah, it's been a good day. Very good day actually. I love, I love the tripping part. I definitely love, love, love the tripping part. So I'm going to finish my uh, Mr. Noodles before it tastes even worse cold. <laughs> that stuff's horrible. <laughs> Over and out. Not all portages are fun and games. <laughs> Starting the portage from Upper Hatchet to Embryo. Gorgeous day. Shitty portage. Very mucky. Oh well, best get Portage it out. Portage between Embryo and Upper Hatchet. I could call this one the, I don't know what these trees are, Aspen. It's, it's bushy. To be honest though, it's actually pretty easy. Um, I don't think this one feels as long as the other one. I still think the other one's 500 or this one's 400 and that one's 450, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Good portage, but like I said, very, very jungly feeling, but nice, nice in the shade. Benson, I'm not gonna lie to you, that 450 took some work. But we are on embryo. I'm pretty sure I can smell smoke in here. Looking a little scary big to me. But the wind is from the right direction. Most gray 
great site on Telescope Lake. This is a nice protected tent site because I am 99% sure we're going to get thunderstorms sooner than later too. Um, so it's hidden nice and well off the water. Lots of protection from the wind. This is a very well used site. There's litter, people have cut down trees. It's a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. It's probably the well, most, one of the well, most well used sites in Woodland Caribou. Pretty nice little fire spot here on a calm night. And there's the lake. Well, very small part of the lake. Lovely in the shade on telescope. The sun is still pretty brutally hot at six o'clock. Writing in my journal. That was a long day. I think it went about 20k. I know I did 1950 meters of portaging, over five portages, I believe. Um, two 450 meters um, in and out of Upper Hatchet. And Upper Hatchet wasn't kind to me. No, oh, I bucked a stiff wind across that whole sucker. And then Embryo was really, it started out really nice. And then the stupid tail on that sucker is three, four kilometers long, all against the wind again. So, that was awesome. That tired me out pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. It is nice out here, though. It's quite something. Biggest thing is being alone. Uh, I've said it before, uh, the physical part, I don't, I like that. I, I like pushing myself physically. I like working hard, always have, physically. <laughs> Office is a different matter. Um, Freaking flies, got the biting flies now. It's, it's awesome. It's because the heat's on, the heat's on big time. Got the weather forecast in the 30s. I think I might head home tomorrow. It's either going to be tomorrow or Friday, but I think I think it's going to be tomorrow. I, I know me. I think I'm just going to head out. It's early. It's four days earlier than what I wanted to do originally. But I'm journaling a lot and figuring stuff out. The biggest thing out here is the mental battle. It's not the physical battle. Like I said, the physical stuff I know I can do. It's pretty lonely. You're all alone out here, man. It's you and the bugs and the birds and the bears and honestly none of that even bothers me it's just last night was really tough honestly um i was i wasn't in a good place last night <laughs> that's part of the reason why i pushed myself so hard today nights are hard not being scared of bears like like it has nothing to do with being scared sleeping alone at night in a tent. I, I'm actually not scared at all. It has nothing to do with that. It's anxiety creeps up for me. Something as silly as just going to bed alone and I'm not used to that. I'm not used to, uh, you know, waking up by myself in a freaking tent sweating because it's so freaking humid and there's mosquitoes buzzing outside your, your netting and I've been having crazy dreams like just vivid vivid dreams and i'm sure it's because of the heat and just pushing myself right not eating properly so i've been dreaming like just vivid nightmares and <laughs> you wake up the wolves are howling man like it's it's the real shit it's the real shit out here if you think it's easy come do it i i uh i invite you down i invite you to come out here and spend two nights on your own just paddle into oni it's easy to do Anybody can pretty much do it. You just have to be able to carry a canoe on your head. And that doesn't take long to figure it out. But I challenge you. Come into Oni for two nights. All by yourself. And camp. Let me know how it goes. We'll talk. And when you're 30, 40 kilometers further than Oni, you know, 20 kilometers further, you're really out there. Yeah. 
anyway, interesting thoughts. Um, over and out. Pony Lake, where I spent a few days. Boy, what a day today, eh? Look at that. Beautiful day. I mean, part of me is definitely wondering why I'm heading out today, but the other part of me is pretty excited to be heading out, and that tells me what I need to know. Last night was a good night. Um, certainly better than the night before. I think that's kind of how it works. You got to get into things, right? But it was a good night too. It was it was still it was it was a beautiful night. I'm deeply satisfied. I caught a couple of nice big pike again this morning and yeah, I could I could stay here and catch another 25, 30 pike and I could catch, you know, probably 50 walleye if I tried hard enough. Only lake has a lot of walleye. Fucking walleye. But uh I don't have to. Um Yeah, I don't have to. I've, I've caught enough fish, I've paddled enough water, I've seen enough sun and wind and thunder and loons and moose. The only thing I didn't see was bear, bald eagle I saw, turkey vultures. This morning a whole gaggle of ducks, whatever that's called. A gaggle. I saw a gaggle. It was nice though in the morning sun with the mists rising off the lake. I mean, what a day, right? Yeah, final thoughts were that this is an amazing trip. Probably one of my better canoe trips, if not the best. It was only 11 days long instead of 16 or 15 like I'd originally planned, but you know what? It was 11 really good days, and uh, I'm very grateful that I got to experience it. Uh, Woodland Caribou was good to me again. She threw some weather at me I didn't really expect necessarily in August, but uh, that's part of it. Um, you learn more through hardship than ease. That, that's just the way it is. I learned a lot about myself. I can do these trips physically. I wasn't too doubtful that I could. Um, mentally, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I got a kilometer of portaging left. I'm going to write final closing thoughts in my journal here on Oni. I'm going to have a coffee and a cigar. And, uh, yeah. Then I'm going to rejoin civilization. That part I'm not 100% sure about. But it has to happen at some point. I'll be back. 650 meter portage out of Oni. Honestly, not horrible. Considering I did 2,000 meters yesterday, I paddled and portaged four hours steady already today. The canoe on my head's gonna hurt. I don't know if I'll be able to do one carry. I'll try. Yo, bear. At least there's a few blueberries on this trail. I will partake.